In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a violin chart in SPSS. Now this example violin chart that I've got up here on the screen is actually made in R. And I'll show you that you can create a very similar violin chart in SPSS. And then I'm going to follow it up with including the mean inside each chart or choosing to include the median in each chart. So it'll be a violin chart com combined with a measure of central tendency. Now violin charts, just very briefly, are representations of distributions of data and the distributions are on are created on the basis of a kernel density plot and so they're highly smooth based on a function that you specify in the syntax now in the syntax that I'm going to show you you don't have to choose anything you can just use the default and I think it'll work fine in most cases so in a violin plot the x-axis represents the frequency over here and so higher levels of frequency is going to the right and higher levels of frequency is going to the left and we can see that most people scored about here and that's mirrored on the left and right side now this portion of the data here this group or this condition scored higher don't know if it's statistically significant but you can appreciate that the distributions themselves are different and this is basically a violin plot now in SPSS if you want to create a violin plot you got to specify your data to be a between groups design. And so I've got three groups in these simulated data and the grouping variables called groups and the dependent variables called V1. You can create a violin plot for within subjects data, but you will have to reorient the data to be consistent with the between groups, the conventional between groups design like this. So once you have your data with groups and V1, all you have to do is run the syntax which was created by Andrew Wheeler. So I found this on an IBM developer web page. And so if you just want the basic violin plot without the mean or median, you would select the first section of the syntax and then run selection. And that will create a violin plot. And so here's the violin plot created by SPSS. And I think it looks actually quite good. It's got this nice light gray and you can appreciate the differences in the distributions. This one here is much more skewed positively than this distribution, I would say. And you can also see that this group scored higher than the other two groups. Now having the grid lines I don't think is attractive. So if I would double click on the, on the image and then get into the chart editor and then double click again to highlight the grid and then just basically get yourself basically got to touch the one of the lines in order to highlight it and then strike it out click apply it does take a few seconds for SPSS to actually run this and I don't know if it's because I have such a large sample size for this violin plot probably a combination of things alright so that has been applied and I'll, I'll close that and so here's the violin plot created in SPSS. I think it looks pretty good. There are probably ways of trying to get rid of all the straight lines if you wanted to. So you can manipulate that in various ways to make it look better. Now if you wanted to add mean or median to the violin plots, you just have to use the next part of the syntax that I'm going to upload and I'll put a description, I'll put a link in the description so you can download the syntax. So if you want to put the mean you have to run this syntax first because it's going to create a variable that's required. And in fact, I didn't show you this, but it does create a variable called panel DUM. And that's going to be needed in the subsequent syntax if you wanted to add the mean to the violin plot. So you just need to scroll down into the syntax and make sure that you've got the one that actually says include the mean. Include the mean within the plot. So you do have to run this syntax first and then run this one because it is going to create because it needs the panel dumb variable created already so as I mentioned here's that panel dumb variable that's required if you want to get the mean inputted so you just have to highlight this syntax make sure you highlight all of it and then run that selection and that's going to create a new violin plot it's going to add a little rectangle within each distribution to represent the mean all right, so here's the violin plot with the mean depicted in each distribution. And you can see that the mean here is numerically larger than this mean and this mean. And you can also appreciate, again, the distribution. Now, again, I would probably get rid of the grid lines 
and you can manipulate this in various ways to make it look prettier. So once you put that time into making it look prettier, it will look quite good, I think. Uh, now the last one is if you wanted to have the median included in your violin chart, well that's it's a slightly different version of the syntax that was just conducted here where it was the mean. And now for the third part, it's the median. And so that can be also run. So just select that syntax and see what it looks like to get the median. All right, so this is the violin plot with the median. And you can see that it is different. This is where the median point is for group three. It's basically a little bit lower than halfway up the axis. And on this one here, it was above the halfway point of the axis. So it is different. And the distributions are skewed positively, and that's the sort of thing you'd expect. And again, you get rid of the grid lines and clean things up down here in order to make it look like a nice violin plot.